Generation Now. I dealt with a guy on YouTube not too long ago. I made a comment on his channel mentioning that I was, he was about, we were talking about age groups or something like that. Um, I made a comment that I am Gen X, 55 years old. And he fired back, you're 55, you're not Gen X. Like, after that, a whole bunch of comments followed in. Yeah, he is, 55, dude, that's the beginning of Gen X. And I, but I got to thinking about it. I'm labeled Generation X. You know, then there's the Millennials and Generation Z. And before, before me was the Boomers. I'd be my parents. <clears throat> that really bugs me too. A lot of people, if you're over 40, they call you a Boomer. I'm not a Boomer. Um, But anyhow, I got to thinking about it. This guy, I said Gen X. Which if you go back to the 90s, Gen X was Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Grunge, and all that stuff. And I get that. He was talking about a music, the music culture, and the, or that music and the culture that surrounded it. Okay, and I, I just don't think this guy made his point very well. He could have said, "Well, Gen X means that music and all of its culture. Generation X is what your your birth your uh, age group is, or whatever the case is." We were talking about two separate things. My opinion. I don't know. Call me something else. I don't care. This is uh, inspired out of 2 Kings 20. Ezekiel turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. <coughs> oh, here we go. <coughs> like I said, I don't read these ahead of time. Never trust anyone over 30, said young environmentalist Jack Weinberg in 1964. His comments stereotyped, stereotyped an entire generation. Something Weinberg later regretted. Looking back, I know what happened, he turned 30. Um... Weinberg later regretted. Looking back, he said, something I said off the top of my head became completely distorted and misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, environments do that a lot. Have you heard disparaging comments aimed at millennials? Yeah. Or vice versa? Ill thoughts directed from one generation toward another can cut both ways. Surely there's a better way. Although he was an excellent king, Hezekiah showed a lack of concern for another generation. When, as a young man, Hezekiah was struck with a terminal illness, he cried out to God for his life. God gave him 15 more years. But when Hezekiah received the terrible news that his children would one day be taken captive, the royal tears were conspicuously absent. He thought, will there not be peace and security in my lifetime? It may have been that Hezekiah didn't apply the passion he had for his own well-being to the next generation. Hmm. <clears throat> God calls us to God calls us to a love that dares to cross the lines dividing us. The older generation needs the fresh idealism and creativity of the younger, who in turn can benefit from the wisdom and experience of their predecessors. This is no time for snarky memes and slogans, but for thoughtful exchange of ideas. We're in this together. Hmm. In what ways do you think you may have ignored or disrespected others from a different age group? How might you use the gifts God has given you to serve them? Forgive me, Father, for not appreciating others in a stage of life different from mine. <clears throat> I'm guilty of all this. And very much so. But I'll tell you what I, as of late, and I mean as of the last, not quite a year, <coughs> especially this pan, through, through, going through this pandemic thing. <coughs> um, I just see, it seems different. I come up from a different time, different standard to live up to and all this that these kids have not. So we're just, we're coming from a different schooling, so to speak, different upbringing. So I can't really hold that against them because I didn't raise them. They didn't raise me. Um, and the other thing is, if I was following all the stuff that they were into, uh, I'd probably think the same thing. Okay. It's just, we all get propaganda. There's a lot of propaganda I was raised with that I know now is a bunch of baloney. And that's that. Can I fix it? No, I have no idea how you'd fix it. And am I going to focus my time on that from here forward? No, because like I said in other videos, this is a temporary gig. I'm not going to waste my energy there. 
And if it affects me, maybe the government turns against me or whatever. Hey, that may happen. That may happen. I can't I have no control over that. Um, keep your eye on salvation. Stay in your lane. Love you. God bless.